Hey guys, it's Kendall with Syncros again. Can you believe it? It's been a whole year since you last saw me, and it's not even raining, sleeting, or anything. It's a beautiful day here at Sea Otter, so it's nice to see you all. I'm going to tell you about a couple of new items for Syncros this year. Um, first thing we've done is we've redesigned, after a number of years, we've redesigned the entire bar, stem, and post offering from Syncros. The, uh, the goals have been to lighten up, use more contemporary uh, designs, and uh, so forth. So first thing we've done is some of the older, some of the designs that we've established the Syncros name on are right here. The all mountain stem, the free ride stem, the uh, light stem, the FL stem, and so forth. But they look like they sort of had different design values. So what we did is with this second time around, we flowed all the designs so they look like they all belong to the same family. Here, for instance, is our new, our new FR stem. It has a really muscular sort of squared off look instead of this more rounded look. Um, we've also uh, recessed the bolts so it's a little bit friendly on your knees when you're free riding and so forth. Um, it's also about 22 grams lighter, so it's a significantly lighter product. Um, it has a much more muscular look, kind of nicer on, on bigger tube bikes and so forth. Um, here's our boxer stem, again, same style, it's adjustable and also has that very muscular sort of look on the side and a more contemporary look up front. Here's the 1.5 version of it, again, a much more contemporary current look uh, for bigger tube bikes and so forth. Um, here's the grunge graphic we showed you last year. The grunge graphic adds a lot of graphical elements and detail. It connotes movement. Um, and so that's what we've been doing in, doing, in uh, re, uh, re approaching our stems for the year. Um, speaking of graphics, you saw this from us last year. This is called the FR grunge graphic. It's showing up OEM on a lot of models. This particular one, look how wide this is. This is a, uh, this is a 20 mil, 760 wide, uh, 31 inch wide bar. So for a big rider in big conditions on a big bike, this is a great choice to have. Uh, and also the graphical elements, again, make it very interesting. Here's the same sort of bar. Well, here's an all mountain bar or a free ride bar, sorry. Free ride bar in white, again, grunge graphics. So uh, again, our goal here is to add some uh, color elements and some movement to bicycles. Um, in the past, parts have all been black, 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 or black. Which one would you like? So it's nice to get some changes going on there. Uh, let's see, as far as redesigning of the brand, we've also got our new, uh, we've redesigned our post this coming year. This is for 2010. and has a longer hat height. It's got a long rail for heavier riders in heavier conditions landing. It's got, an incre uh, it's got a, a, a gloss black finish that obviously is going to match our new stems very nicely. Um, we also have, after, after 20 years, this is one of the most, one of the most uh, seat post designs ever. Pippin Osborne years and years ago came up with this. This was the quintessential Synchros seat post for a number of years. We've now taken it and improved it so it's actually all one piece. We've removed around 35 grams from the weight and we've also made it so it's an eccentric, it's a zero offset but it's also made with an eccentric uh, clamping system so you can flip it and you can either do it at zero or you can get a 10 degree offset if you flip this clamp around. Again, a BB black finish, ultra light, so forth and so on. So we're super pleased with the redesign of the bars, the stems, uh, the posts and so forth. Um, also moving along, a couple of designs that have been very, very well received. This is one of the most beautiful saddles that we've ever, maybe the most beautiful saddle we've ever made. It's a Synchros FL saddle, super light, uh, almost looks like a road saddle. Here's a white version of it. Again, just very, very super high appeal saddles. We've also sort of entered into some of the more esoteric, um, what's called SMU or special makeup uh, on bicycles. This is a part we made for the BC bike race, specifically for them. And it's a, uh, it's a Syncros grunge. Well, it's not even grunge. It's just a specific graphic for the BC bike race. Here is a saddle that also has that same graphical element. And lastly, here's a bar that also matches it. So Syncros is really doing what they can to distance themselves from other brands as far as their participation in supporting the sport and so forth. So moving along, a couple other things just to refresh your memory on. If you didn't see it last year, the whole grunge graphic approach has been extremely popular. It's showing up on OEM bikes. They come in three models. This is what's called FL. 
freaking light. It's just very lightly detailed, very nice, but sort of tasteful. And then you have a, an FR design with those big round dot wax and all the color. And then you have an all mountain. You can tell it's all mountain because it's got a little mountain scene. And this is somewhere in between these two. This is the least graphically detailed. This is the most, and this one's sort of in the middle. And right here is a custom bar that we made for one of the OEMs. We just thought we would show you that we've been doing some custom work as well. Just like the BC Bike Race Bar Simmon post, this post was made for an OEM specifically. So again, doing what we can to make our products really stand out in the marketplace where things can look sort of similar if you're not careful. Synchros uh, F, uh, FLC 25, a 25 mil all mountain wheel set. Um, it is one of the first carbon wheel sets. This particular wheel set just came back from being used in a 24 hour race and it barely needed a touch true and a little bit of uh, maintenance to the free hub. But the bottom line is wheels are getting lighter, stronger, faster. The materials technology of carbon, as well as the inert material that's used or the glue that they use to keep the carbon together is all getting better. So now we're really able to use carbon in um, areas you wouldn't use them ordinarily. Like five years ago, two years ago, you wouldn't have thought of really using carbon in an all mountain bike that's getting you know, rough use. And now carbon is being, appro you know, it's appropriate for that sort of technology. So we have, it's approximately a, uh, 1340. It's about a 1550 gram wheel set, all mountain use, disc front and rear and so forth. It's also available with a new 15 uh, mil through axle front. So that's an option for those people that have a, an all mountain bike that's very light and where the emphasis is on what are the lightest possible parts you can get that will last for the conditions. Um, the other thing we have coming around the corner is we've redesigned our new, uh, for this coming year, we've redesigned our DPS 32 <laughs> wheel set. And in past years, it's been a rather large, you know, rather large and heavy affair as bikes were larger and heavier. And now the bikes are getting thinner and being used. And now bikes are getting lighter. Um, we're also um, emphasizing lightweight. So the biggest difference is if you look at it, the channel right here, uh, the rim bed is, is, of course, raised. And it's much lighter and much thinner than the material used in this one. This, is about, this rim is about a 760 gram rim. This rim shaves over 200 grams for the same sort of application. So all of our rims, uh, the DPS 32 will be available in white or black and much, much, much lighter than in the past. Grunge graphic, we're, we have a pedal called uh, the Mental, the Mental pedal, and it's coming out in this grunge graphic, just like you saw over there on the bar stems and posts, you have graphical details related to the pedals themselves. So add some color and some interest to the Mental pedal design. We also have the stainless steel pedal continues to be a mainstay for Richie. If you're in real severe conditions with a lot of water um, and in really inclement conditions riding a lot, a stainless steel pedal is a, is a distinct advantage. Um, we also have come out this year with a Traverse pedal. It's available in Crank Brothers or Shimano. Um, and in the two colors that you see, it's a Zytel nylon pedal and also has enough of a footbed that you could actually ride it around town. You could have it on a bike and ride it around town as your all-rounder bike, to some degree anyway. Um, and then also go right onto the trails and clip in and off you go. So it's a bit of a dual-use pedal um, and it's very light. Um, so that's the new, that's the new uh, 2009 slash early 2010 releases for Synchros. Uh, as you think of us, think of the graphical details that we have on the bar stem and post. Think of the new designs of version 2 bar stem and post. Think of the new 31 inch wide bar that I showed you. Um, think of the new graphics on the mental pedals. And please pay particular attention to the ultralight uh, CF25 wheels that we, or FL25 uh, carbon wheel set that we make. And I think that covers it. So thanks for coming by and we'll see you next year.